Welcome to Honduras This Week online news video cast for Monday, July 9. This video cast is brought to you by Minister Suite, Sweet Dreams. Bright Future for Honduran Tourism. The Fondo de Fomento al Turismo, FFT, funded by the Government of Honduras, is a new project initiative that is making grants available to small businesses within the tourism industry. The project, which is dedicated to strengthen and diversify the tourism sector, will be able to offer financial help of more than 5 million U.S. dollars. Jennifer Godbold tells us more about this project in the national section. Calle Peatonal and the Informal Economy In the Calle Peatonal at downtown Teusigalpa, items are being bought and sold, money is being exchanged, and capitalism appears to be thriving. The description could apply to most business sectors of the economy, with one notable exception. This particular market is illegal. Read the full article by Dina Buckman in the Business and Economic section. Pranic Healing, a natural complement to traditional medicine. Founded by the Chinese Filipino master Choa Kok Sui, Pranic Healing is a non-touch, drug-free energy healing system that is based around the premise that the energy body, which is affected by our emotions, manifests itself in afflictions in our physical body. Carmen Guillen brings us more information about this medical phenomenon in the people and cultural section. The archaeological echo caves of the Talwa River, located approximately 10 kilometers northwest of Catacamas in the department of Olancho, the archaeological caves of the Talwa River are part of a geographic group being developed and updated by the Honduran Institute of Anthropology and History. Read part one of this article by Jose Vicente Zavala in the travel and tourism section. What I like about Honduras. This week, the On the House article by Todd Ellerson lets us know the writer's opinion about Honduras and its culture. Find out more about what Honduras has to offer in the national section. Honduras needs to escape external dependence. The ambassador of the United States celebrated the independence of his country and insisted the Honduran government must seek out a path towards development under the values of freedom and individual rights. Alvaro Morales Molina informs us in the national section. San Antonio de Oriente, almost gone but not forgotten. Todd Ellerton made a day trip to this enchanting little village and discovered this hidden piece of history. Learn more about San Antonio de Oriente in the travel and tourism section. This has been your online weekly update for Honduras. This is Nicole Martyr for Honduras This Week Online. Have a great day and see you next week.